Welcome back, Husker fans, to the fourth episode. Welcome back, Husker fans, to the fourth episode of the DA Husker Fan Analytical Show. I'm your host, Derek Arthur. Today, we talk about the number 16 Nebraska Cornhuskers playing at home, finally, versus the Rutgers. Uh, shoot. Hold on a second. They're called the Scarlet Knights. <laughs> Didn't know that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, so uh, first and foremost, I look exhausted and I'm really tired. So I'm going to keep this video probably short. If that's cool with you. Cool. Uh, my family, my mother, my father, and my grandmother, who is 84-ish. I think 84 uh, it was her first time in New York City and my parents like seventh or eighth time here in New York City they came to visit with me and stayed in my small apartment I'm gonna show you what I live in this is my apartment folks there's my loft there's my bed I'm gonna do a panoramic view there's my couch there's my co-host Harley stop licking your pee pee yes you that is my co-host Harley doodles see how small of an apartment I live in Four people here. It was quite painful. Um, but I love them, and I was glad my grandma got to see New York City. Um, but I'm exhausted, so I'm going to keep this as short as possible, and you guys are probably going to be like, thank goodness, because your ugly face was making us throw up. And on a second note, I've had some commenters last week say they missed the hat. So, without further ado, it is back, folks. I'm going to try to get some overalls. Maybe I can play Herbie Husker from now on. Sound good? Sound good. Let's just get straight into the game. If that's cool with you. This week, Nebraska plays Rutgers. Uh, and first and foremost, second and foremost, third and foremost, I don't know what I'm on right now. But uh, Rutgers, welcome to the Big Ten. And the Big Ten has welcomed you by giving you the Worst nightmare schedule as they do every t as they do to every team that enters the new Big Ten, even though it's the Big Fourteen. It, it, yeah, whatever. Um, even though Rutgers is right now five and two, uh, Kyle Flood has done a great job at coaching their team. Even though the last week's blowout to Ohio State was kind of not good. Um, I mean, who likes Ohio State? Urban Meyer is kind of like a mega douche. Whatever. Let's get back to Rutgers. Rutgers is led by quarterback Gary the Kessa Nova, uh, who has completed quite a bit of passes this year for 1,800 yards, and they are led by Desmond Peoples in their running back by committee, the three-headed monster. Now, their offensive line is actually pretty legit. Um... Between all five offensive linemen, they have a combined 133 starts, so that is their focal point on the offensive side of the ball. But, like I said last week, that offensive line got torn to pieces. Kind of reminded me of the Nebraska-Michigan State game. Jay Cotton. Um, on the defensive side of the ball for the Rutgers is a guy named... I'm sorry, folks. I'm really tired. Uh, I'm on the wrong side of the page. <laughs> Woo. Um, Steve Lang? Steve Long? Something like that? He's their weak side linebacker. He's a pretty quick guy. Um, after I looked at some tape, this about five minutes ago he was pretty quick uh i think he has a good chance of stopping amir from producing big games um so hopefully fear amir hashtag fear amir will get that going for them um i'm just gonna get right back to nebraska i figured nobody really likes talking about rutgers or any of the other big team teams and this is a husker block so let's talk husker football that's what i'm saying all right, uh, Tim Beck. 
there are times that I think and I'm like, WTF? What what was that play call? It's third and twenty five, and you run a quarterback draw or not quarterback option? What? And then there are times I'm like, Tim Beck, that guy's a genius. That guy knew what to call at the right time. And I'm like, okay, great. Um, but it seems to me that he's kind of like, all right, I got these weapons, but I got more weapons. Who do I give the ball to? Should I give it to this person? Should I give it to that person? No, you give the ball to your damn best player, please. At halftime last week, I believe Nebraska was losing 17-14. to uh, And Amir Abdullah only had nine carries in the first half. Yeah. Either Tim Beck doesn't trust their offensive line, or Tim Beck doesn't know who the best player on the team is. I think he thinks it's the quarterback. I'm pretty sure he's like, Taylor Martinez is still a quarterback. Maybe we should give him the ball the entire time. Possibly. That would be the best idea ever. Let's have him come back. I could really enjoy that with his video games or whatnot. Um, and also on the offensive side of the ball, I said this last week. I see it in the NFL, and I still think some colleges, a lot of in the college ball, don't understand. Like The reason teams are so successful in the NFL is because they use their tight ends awesomely. Uh, <sighs> it feels like the tight end has become the fullback of the Bill Callahan era. This is my honest opinion. Um, feels like no need to use them anymore. Uh, they're there to block because our offensive line can't block. I, even though last week was, I mean, our backups did great last week on the offensive side of line. Um, I'd prefer to get the tight end use more. I mean, it's happened a lot. Since Tim Beck took over as the play caller, it's kind of like we don't need a tight end ever. Well, okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I do have to give a big props to Tommy Armstrong with that leap last week. You played a hell of a game, kid. You played a hell of a game. Uh, and people on Twitter were getting on Kenny Bell be like, you got too much pants, you take him into the game. <sighs> they are college athletes, people. They don't get paid. Um, and we won the game. Why are you getting on a college athlete who's like 21 to 24, you know, 19 actually, 19 to 23 year olds? I'm not, I'm having a bad game. It, Nebraska, the best fans in the world. Let's live up to that reputation, people. Um, and then recently, this week, the black shirts were handed out. Thankfully, uh, a lot of. Reports have come out, be like people forgot about the black shirts, not longer a tradition. I grew up in the early 90s where the black shirts were dominant. Um, and the black shirts are my tradition. One of the biggest traditions that I think of when it comes to Nebraska football. Um, and I'm only 26. Uh <sighs> You know, maybe if we would have handed our black shirts out at the beginning of the year, like Tom Osborne used to do, and all uh, Charlie McBride used to do, you know, to make them play better to not lose the black shirt, maybe we wouldn't be giving up touchdowns every, you know, first drive of the game. John Papoujas. Papoopchits. Uh... That's what I think it should be. I think you should give the black shirts at the beginning of the seasons. And if they suck, take it away. They have to keep playing well to keep using the black shirt. Not be like, you have to, you know, eight games into the season, maybe we'll give you the black shirt. Seven games in the season, maybe we'll give you the black shirt. You know, if you played well enough versus a crappy non-conference schedule, we'll give you, you know, we'll give you the black shirts then. Personally, if I would have given the black shirts, I would give them out versus the Michigan State game because they were the one that kept us cl somewhat close in the game. Um, that's my rant for today. Uh, 
Prediction time! Nebraska is probably going to do the same thing Ohio State last week did to Rutgers and pretty much dominate the game. Hopefully. Uh, it's an 11 a, 11 a, 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 la, 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 11 a.m. game back home in Nebraska. And that's a 12 p.m. Eastern game here in New York City. So if you're in the New York metro area, come out to Hudson Station down on 35th and 9th in New York City, Manhattan to watch the game with all the rest of your Husker fans. It's a good time. And plus, it's a day game, so that gives you a great excuse to do some day, dr day drinking. I mean, I don't need an excuse, but that's a perfect excuse if it was someone else. Um, prediction time. I believe Nebraska comes out big and wins big. I got Nebraska. 51. Rutgers. 27. Um, and since I haven't danced in the cornfield in a couple weeks, I'm going to dance to The Kill Against the Cornhusker. Write me half for you. Hello, ladies. I am still single. I love you too. Tuck the ball like this, Nebraska. Tuck it like this. I'm Derek Arthur, and this is the DA Husker Fan Analytical Show. Go Huskers.